What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoots and today I've got a video on probably the most powerful plugin for Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects and a bunch of other applications. Unfortunately, it is paid. I think there's a free trial or something similar, but today I'm going to show you your power and why you're probably willing to throw some money into this just because it's that good. So to start demonstrating the noise removal, I'll simply drag and drop a video I recorded in on a GoPro and I'll let it play for a bit. You can see that there is a hell of a lot of noise, especially if I zoom in even further. And you can see that there's a ton of noise there that really shouldn't be there. So let's zoom out and let's go ahead and drop in the Neat Video plugin. So Neat Video, Reduce Noise, V4, SR. There's a V5. However, V4 is powerful enough and I don't feel like upgrading, paying for the new version. So I'm free to use this one as long as I want. So let's just pick a good time. I think you have to pick somewhere off at the beginning. Either way, I'll pick here and I'll click prepare, then click build. And we're presented with this screen over here. Moving your mouse over this preview moves these three bottom previews. And you can see the amount of noise in each of these channels. So what you want to do is find a piece of color or area in the video that should be uniformly flat. So the screen over here should be uniformly black with hardly any color change. It's out of the way of the lights and it should be almost uniform. It's not a glossy screen. It's matte and this should be one flat color. So the bigger you make the square, the better the automatic noise removal is going to work. However, if it goes over a part that is too noisy or shouldn't be uniform, it detects that way, then it'll complain and you'll have to find a better position. Then once you've got a good position set as big as possible, you can click auto profile on the top left and you'll see that it does a bunch of stuff on the right here. However, you can ignore most of this. So at the very top, let's go to auto fine tune and then let's go to the noise filter settings tab at the very top. Here we can zoom in and you can see in the top right, it says filtered. So if we drag out a square, you can see that it completely resets the background to the noisy beginnings. If we select a square, it'll show us a preview of what the denoised version will be. So you can see it doesn't add too much blur. And if that text were readable, it probably would still be readable. DBX down there, still basically the same. It does an absolutely incredible job of getting rid of noise without too much blur. I really love this plugin. It's super powerful for what it does, and it's very well GPU accelerated. So basically just hit apply and done. It is now applied to the entire video. So if I add the global FX mute here and click it, you can see that I toggle in and out of this noise removal plugin. You can see that a hell of a lot is done before and after before after. So obviously the video isn't stabilized. That's something I'll have to fix on top of it, but it does a really good job of removing noise. So just how powerful is this thing? Well, let's hit prepare again. This time let's go to adjust. Now that we're in here, let's go to the top and where these settings are up here. We can go to profile and save it if we'd like to save or load the profile for a specific camera or a situation. Rather useful, but I find just copying and pasting the effect itself inside of Premiere Pro basically copies everything that you need and you can add it to as many video tracks as you want. You only need to do this once for each different camera or lighting situation. If we go across to tools, we can switch between the beginner and advanced mode. This gives you a lot more control with dust and scratch removal, slow shutter removal, etc., etc. But the more interesting thing under tools is preferences. So let's go into the performance tab. And you can see that I'm using both the CPU and GPU. If I were to click optimize settings, it would go through a bunch of tests, testing my processor and two graphics cards and finding the best combination of pure CPU, pure GPU one, pure GPU two, all three and just two in different combinations. And it really has found the best for me. It's picked to use four out of the available 24 cores. That's actually a 12 core, 24 thread CPU. However, nine cores will be used. And GPU, it's selected only to use the 1080 Ti with the 1080 sitting there in second. So if I were to click check speed, you can see that it goes at 23.8 frames per second, 1080p, 8 bits, radius two. So if I select 1080 as well, You'll see that after the test completes, should be a bit slower. I guess not. It's probably because I'm recording using my 1080 Ti. However, clicking the optimize settings button will find the optimal combination of CPU and GPU. So really, really useful and super powerful. 
well worth however much you're gonna pay for it because you pay for it once and you have a lifetime license. You only pay for big version upgrades, i.e. four to five, and not the smaller upgrades of say 4.1 to 4.3. So anyways, my name is Bean Techno, I'll be here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.